um, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Excellency Presidents present, all protocols observed, and the youth of Africa, Wagwan. Wagwan. You may not know, but I live and I'm a mother of nine youth, believe it or not. Six children and three are married, therefore nine, between the ages of 19 and 33. And so I have lived with this generation and I hear them. They are unrestricted by their ethnicity, they are unrestricted by their nationality, they don't care too much about the restrictions that we older people put uh, in them. And today, this is a really a breath of fresh air. Before I respond on the question of the role of women, and I assume you're talking about young women because we are here uh, with the youth. I think one of the things I would want to say is that after this conference is done, I hope that those of us in leadership will do something to ensure that this moves from a talk shop and something actually does change for the youth of Africa. The youth of Africa, as you have heard, want clear, porous borders. For the women who are young, they want unrestricted access to opportunities, career opportunities for those who want to work. What does that mean? The restrictions that have traditionally been there that we saw during covid that actually we can work around, we loosen those restrictions to allow young women to have access to work, whether they are working from home because they are young mothers. We expect these young people, especially young women, to still get into the family way. But one of the restrictions for young women to move up their career paths is that when they get into the situation where they have children, there are restrictions to how far you can go to work. The opportunity may be in Rwanda, for example, but you can't move from Kenya. It may be in Kisumu, but you are living in Kirinyaga. The youth of this country and the youth of Africa are looking for opportunities where they can work across counties and across nations, and we should provide those opportunities by being more less rigid, for example, in the public service, allowing people to work from home. We did that during COVID, and the world did not stop. Why can't we provide the same opportunities to ensure young people continue to have access to opportunities? On the issues of trade, for example, they want to be able to register their businesses sitting in their homes without necessarily having to move from one office to another, from one county registration office to another, to be able to pay their fees from their phone and thank God for M-Pesa and other financial services in Kenya. But for the youth in general, they want a leadership that is committed to the things that we talk about year in, year out in this Youth Connect Africa. And for us to actually actualize them by making sure that we pass those policies. As a Council of Governors, we are working on a youth and integration policy that will be mainstreamed throughout all our counties to ensure that we allow movement of young people, be it men or women, to access opportunities through AGPO, to access training through our digital hubs, to access businesses through our procurement processes, and to be able to actually deliver those services and be paid from the comfort of wherever it is they are. Truly porous, truly borderless counties in Africa. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We will interrupt 
uh, the program to acknowledge the President of His Excellency, Nskoane Samuel, the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Lesotho, who has joined us. Your Excellency.